about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys, so today I am going to be a talking hand I'm not going to introduce it personally because I have just literally jumped off the treadmill as um, the delivery man knocked on the door. It was Tesco delivery and he knocked and I was in the middle of a run and you do not need to see that. I'm a complete hot, sweaty, greasy mess that needs to get in the shower, but I also need to get this put away because it is so hot here today. It's about, I think, 34 degrees or it's supposed to be getting up to 34 degrees. So stupid me decided to go for a run in the conservatory. <laughs> and I'm absolutely dripping, so I didn't want to treat anyone to that site. So I'm going to take you through everything I've bought from Tesco, and then at the end I'll let you know how much it all came to, and my meal plan for the coming week. And right on cue, Siren has picked up her toy, as usual. So fresh stuff, sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm absolutely exhausted. I've got two cucumbers, some courgettes, I got some carrots, it is officially the start of the summer holidays for the boys, so I thought things like carrots I can chop up and every second, like when they go, Mum, I'm hungry, I can have some pre-chopped in the fridge and they can just grab a handful. I got two lots of jazz apples, these are two for £2.50. Tesco were doing 45p fruit this week, so I got some plums, I got some flat peaches, which is quite good because you get five in there. And I also got some nectarines, and these were all 45p, I believe. I've got two lots of cherry tomatoes, some spring onions, one bag of spinach, two lots of romaine heart lettuce, these were 85p, and we really like that. Two lots of mushrooms, and some grapes, I think that's it fresh-wise, we've still got some bits and bobs in the fridge. I've got some toilet rolls over the back because <laughs> I've crammed them in because I can't fit everything on the table. Um, strawberry corner yogurts, they were doing, how many's here? 12 for £4. So I thought that was really good. And these are the boys' absolute favourite flavour. So I got 12 of those. I bought two, actually, I bought four lots of fridge raiders. I thought these were quite good if the boys do want a snack. It's better than them like heading for our cereal bars or chocolate bars or crisps or. They can have a little packet of chicken bites. So these are on offer at a pound. So I've got two lots of the Southern style and two lots of the slow roasted. Likewise with pepperamis, these were half price. These are the spicy ones. They were £1.37 for five. And again, they're just a nice snack to grab out of the fridge. Two lots of cheese strings. Again, you know what I'm gonna say, they were half price. I think they're about the same, about one pound. 30 or something and you get eight in there so i got two of those because kids eat you out of house and home does anyone else's kids just eat constantly like at school you pack them a packed lunch and that's all they have but at home they just want to eat all day i got some wraps i got six smoked back bacon rashers i got some corn again this was three for five pound this week so i got some of the corn pieces i got two of those and then one of the vegetarian steak strips. We really, really like these. Um, if you watch our meals of the week, you'll see how I use those, but they're so nice. I've got some jumbo raw king prawns. I'm probably gonna do a salad with those or maybe a chili and coriander stir fry. Sounds quite nice. I got some cauliflower rice because we love our cauliflower rice. There's some pot bait rolls over the back there. You can't go wrong with having those in the cupboard for lunches and things. Got a kilo of chicken breast. I'm gonna be making curry this week and something else that requires chicken. I got some chicken steaks. I got four crispy battered ones and four southern fried because these are quite peppery so Oscar's not as keen on them. Got some Richmond chicken sausages. Again, these were on offer. So I got those. I think I might do like a sausage and mash and peas and gravy this week. Some pork mince for a I was actually gonna make a chili and then I saw a recipe in the Tesco magazine actually for a beef keema. Um, and obviously I'm gonna use pork instead, but I might make that because it looked really nice. I got some coleslaw for sandwiches, two of their extra, extra cheap breads. I think I've showed this before, it's like 30p and it's quite thin. Well, it's not too bad actually, but it will do for like popping in the freezer and getting out if you run out of bread for toast or something. And I got Hovis soft white as well. I got, you can hear the boys, they're on the slip and slide in the garden. 
it is baking and they are absolutely loving it we've plugged the hose onto it and they're getting drenched i won't show you them though because they're in their boxer shorts um i've got a salmon philadelphia because bailey really likes it on crackers and things so i'm pork lunch and meat wafer thin roast turkey and wafer thin roast chicken these are all good for the endless sandwiches i'm going to be making over the holidays i've got some potato croquettes these are 61 or 69 pence which is really good and they're not a tiny bag either some of their hearty food goes straight cut chips and some of the pork sausages that i do rave about quite often these are 91p and you get 20 sausages and they're just great to have cold in the fridge i got two lots of cereals, the uh, pillows, because um, we use these as cereal, but also if the boys watch a movie or something and Oscar's like, can I have a snack? I'll do him a bowl of those. Got some long grain rice to go with the curry. Some baked beans. Boys can have beans on toast for breakfast. I've got some white hot dog rolls because I'm going to be making chilli dogs for movie night. i got some New York bagels. Some brunch bars. We've got six of the raisin ones and six of the choc chip. These were on offer at 99p. Some of these little button bites, these are really nice actually. Steve and I shared a pack, you get like two in each pack. Um, they're like little chocolate biscuits with Smarties on and they're actually really nice. I got some sweets for like movie night, some fizzy watermelon slices and some fizzy bubblegum bottles. Some of the cheapy cheap pasta is 29p for 500 grams, but it all ends up the same if you make a pasta bake. I got some light mayonnaise. I didn't realise this was going to be so big, actually. It's huge. Some balsamic vinegar. I bought one of these curry sauces. Now, this was ridiculous as well. I think it's 30p or something. But what I'm going to do is add loads of my own spices and seasonings to the chicken and onion and garlic and ginger and fenugreek and coriander, all those kind of things, and then just use this as, like, the liquid. So I think it might work really well. I got some free range eggs, I made sure I checked they were the free range ones this time. Some more rich tea biscuits and two of our favourite coffee, this is the Milicano. Again this is half price this week so it's £2.25 £2. I think. I got some hot dogs for the chilli dogs. Down here, this is me at the moment, sweet pickle crinkle cut beetroot, that's about the colour of my face. We love pickle beetroot with our salads. I bought a washing up liquid. I bought six of these malt vinegars and I bought some salt because when my um, plumber came around the other day, I was weeding the front garden and he said, you need to try this mixture. I'm, I'm not sure, exactly sure the quantities, but if you Google it, you'll see it. He said he's put it on all his weeds. It's just vinegar, washing up liquid and salt. He said, and nothing has come back. Like he's tried so many expensive weed killers and he said they all grow back like pretty much straight away. He said he tried this and nothing will grow where he's sprayed it. So I'm just going to put this, mix it up to the right quantities and then I'm going to put it in a old method spray bottle and go and spray all my weeds and see what happens. So I'll keep you updated in a future vlog or meals of the week or something. But yeah, if you just Google um, vinegar salt, I think it's, yeah, just vinegar, salt, washing up liquid weeds and it will come up with the exact quantities and stuff. But I thought it was worth a try because this is like, it's probably going to work out about £3 for quite a lot of it. I've got some pickled gherkins down there. I've got two deodorants on offer, two for £3. Some tuna so we can have jacket potatoes with tuna and salad. What's that down there? Oh, some minced garlic and some onion granules because I was running low. Some pickle for cheese and pickle sandwiches. I do love a cheese and pickle sandwich. Some kidney beans for, I was gonna be making chili, but I'm not sure what I'm making now, keema or chili. I got some peeled plum tomatoes. These are my favorite ones. They're really in a really thick sauce and they've got really nice flavor. There goes the coffee. Four bottles of squash, cause like I said, the kids are home, so they just go through so much and it's so hot. So these are all a pound each and they're double strength. We've got cherries and berries, orange, lemon and pineapple, tropical and apple. I've got four pints of milk, semi-skimmed, which is what we always buy. I've got some knickknacks, there's six bags in there. And they're a pound. And I also, because the boys aren't at school, I thought we'd get away with bunny bites because I don't send them to secondary school with bunny bites. But these are 85p for six bags. And that is everything I bought this week, which is absolutely loads. I've crammed it, other than the other five bottles of vinegar. This is all of it. 
and it was just over 109 pounds so i'm really really pleased with that so i'm going to take you through our meal plan now for the coming week right so here is this week's meal plan and i forgot the reason i was going to make chili and not keema is because i wanted to make extra so that I've got some to top the chilli cheese dogs with. So tonight I'm going to make a chilli and I'm going to bulk it out a little bit with a handful of red lentils and some extra tomatoes and then serve that with rice. And then tomorrow night I've got the hot dogs, the rolls and I'm going to put the leftover chilli and some grated cheese and that'll be like a movie night thing. On Saturday or Sunday, depending on what happens with this really hot weather we're having, um, we'll be having curry one day and then sausage mash and gravy on the other day but I'll switch those around depending on like the weather so Monday we're going to have jacket potatoes with like a tuna mayo grated cheese, salad, pickles, gherkins, beetroot, that kind of thing Tuesday I've still got a taco kit we had minced tacos last week and this week we're going to have chicken tacos, the little boats and then Wednesday I've left free for if we go out or if we have a meal left over or just some leftovers in the fridge that we need to use up. So that is everything and I'm going to leave this video here this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already. Give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in our next video. This is what we're